Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our channel on this lovely day. Our God has been so good to us. He's so faithful. He's so loving. We praise His name. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Uh, if you're here for the first time, I want to welcome you to our channel and uh, to subscribe uh, and join us as we grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And to our returning viewers, we want to say a big, big thank you. Thank you for always coming back to watch us every day and to fellowship with us. Hallelujah. Amen. And to everyone else, we can watch all our advertisements because when we do that, you are helping us to advance the kingdom of God as the Bible says in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12. Since the days of John the Baptist, these were the words of Jesus. The kingdom is forcefully advancing and forceful men are taking hold of it. Praise be to God. Glory to God. And today we are in the book of Acts chapter 7. We are continuing, uh, we are continuing, uh, with, uh, we continue with uh, the story of Stephen and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Stephen uh, is uh, still uh, laying out his defense before the council, before the chief priest and all the elders, uh, because he was accused of many things, of uh, uh, saying that Jesus would come and destroy the temple and all the customs. Uh, and traditions uh, that Moses introduced uh, to them. And uh, he's, he, he, he goes on to speak about uh, Abraham. And uh, he left it, uh, we had left it uh, at the place where uh, Abraham was blessed uh, with his son Isaac. And uh, we are going to look at the second part of, uh, of uh, the defense of uh, of Stephen, and he's describing the history, at uh, the history of Israel. And uh, our topic today is uh, uh, favor, having favor and wisdom, having favor and wisdom, uh, in the midst of the accusations and in the midst of uh, uh, all the things uh, that are said against you. You must have favor and wisdom from God. Remember, the Bible had said that Philip was a man full of wisdom and faith. And uh, he wants to describe to us Joseph. He wants to describe to us Joseph. And uh, from verse number 8 uh, of Acts chapter 7, uh, the Bible says that, uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, Jacob was blessed with the sons, the, the fathers of Israel, the patriarchs of Israel. And uh, this patriarch of Israel, one of them was Joseph. And Joseph, as we know, he was the one who was chosen by God. He was the special one. And we are told that the brothers were envious of Joseph. But God had favor on him. God had his favor upon him and gave him wisdom before Pharaoh. Because from the story we know that he was sold as a slave to Egypt. Praise be to God. But he found favor and wisdom from God. That is in verse number 10 of Acts chapter 7. He found favor and wisdom from God before Pharaoh. And uh, we know that he was made governor. He was made governor. And when all of Canaan and all of Egypt was without food, they came to Joseph and he gave them food. He gave them food. And as Stephen describes how at the second time, the fathers of Israel, the patriarchs, got to know Joseph, who Joseph was. And Joseph had to call all his family to himself. Praise be to God. Amen. And this is a reminder to us. This is a reminder to us. As I said earlier, we need the favor of God. We need the wisdom from God to be made a governor, to be made a governor, to be made, uh, to be made someone in authority, to, to, to have authority, to, to have uh, a responsibility. 
uh, uh, put upon you. you. You need wisdom. You need favor from God. It is not easy to be a leader of people, to be a leader of an organization or a business. You need favor and wisdom. And uh, this is these are just uh, uh, two of leadership qualities that we need not only uh, to be a manager, but also to be a leader of your own self, to be a person who can lead your own self, someone who can be reliable and be uh, and people can look upon you for direction. Because uh, in those days, uh, Pharaoh asked, is there any other person suitable for this job? Is there any other person suitable for this job more than you, Joseph? Praise be to God. Therefore, we need favor from God. We need wisdom from God. And the world is in need of leaders, godly leaders, men and women who will rise up full of faith, full of wisdom, full of understanding, to show the way. Praise be to God. And this is our topic today, favor and wisdom. And remember what James says to us, if anyone lacks wisdom, he should ask it from God, and God will give him the wisdom. Praise be to God. Amen. Let me stop here. We shall pick it up next time from the book of Acts. Uh, Acts chapter 7 and verse number 17. A very powerful reading. A very powerful reading concerning the promise. The time when the promise. The when the time of the promise had come. Verse number 17. We shall read it next time. Be sure to join us next time. As we read from the book of Acts. God bless you. Take good care of yourself. Remember to watch all our advertisements. Remember to subscribe. And share this video with your friends. And God will bless you. Bye bye. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Amen.